Hi, it's John from Crafts by John UK. Today I'm going to show you a technique video. This is a finished card with this cute triple hedgehog image on it. Um, I'm not going to show you how I make the whole card today. I'm just going to show you how I coloured in the hedgehogs. I use my Arteza watercolour pens to do this and I've got a quick fast forwarded video just to show you my technique for colouring. So if you're interested, stay tuned. You can see I'm starting here with my light brown. What I'm going to do first of all is just lay a basic layer down. So I put a little bit of the light brown on the acrylic block and then I take my water pen, blob a little bit of water onto it and then you can see I'm just carefully going around any particular objects like these circles on the body of the hedgehog but then for the majority I'm just kind of roughly painting it. This is a kind of textured and blobbly spiky image so it doesn't need to be perfectly painted but the ultimate end result looks great. So go over lay that base layer down. This is the lighter of the two brown colours laying that down first and then I'll blob the darker brown on top. So you can see quite lightly just going all the way around just making sure I've got colour everywhere. I then take the darker brown again on my water, on my acrylic block sorry using my water pen and I just start to blob that down. Because we're kind of laying a darker colour over a lighter colour this creates texture, gives you depth, and makes creatures look kind of realistic and more believable. If we just did a flat blob of colour it wouldn't look very good. So I take those, I dry my pen off and then I'm literally going over and just touching the water pen onto the bits I've just laid down in the darker colour. It kind of blends the two in together and you don't end up with any hard like water edges. Doing that on the main body there you can see kind of around the edges onto the little one there. It just encourages them to kind of blend together. You can always add a little bit more colour as I just did then but always clean your water brush between. I'm now using a kind of a light colour, um, I don't know what this one's called, but it's kind of like an orangey yellow. And I go around the edges of the hedgehog's faces, I want them to be in a lighter colour. And I'm also doing the feet and the arms, just basically going around. I'm not adding loads, I'm just laying down a kind of an edge. And then what I'll do is I'll just use the water brush uh, to pull that colour in so that I end up with light and dark areas. So I lay that down on the edge, clean my brush, and then you can see I'm kind of just going down over what I've laid down, pulling that colour into the centre. That way we end up with a darker edge, which makes it kind of look 3D, makes it look a little bit more realistic. And then obviously not laying any more colour down, basically. So I'm pulling basically from the edges. And I'm doing that on all of the three hedgehogs, you can see. So I usually go over the edge first and then over the centre area. If it looks too dark, you can always use your um, kitchen towel to just blob some off the centre. But I'm then going back in and just adding a little bit more around the edges. When you do that, make sure you use the water pen to kind of blob it. Right, I'm now putting some pink onto the noses just to give the hedgehogs a little pink nose and little pink cheeks. I also do that on the arms as well just to give them a little bit of pink on the skinny bits. There we go, that's the pink pretty much done. Again, smoothing out anything that needs smoothing out. And now I'm going to colour the paper chain. So I'm using primary colours for this. So I picked like a red, a green, a blue and a yellow. I want a dark, bold colours. And you can see I'm using the actual brush pen directly from the brush. These are primary colours. I want them quite strong and bold. This is quite a nice contrast against the browns of the hedgehogs. So I'm using those with nice um, fine tips that obviously I can colour quite easily. You see I made a mistake there, I just cleaned it with a clean water brush, brush and then blobbed it away with some clean kitchen towel as well. These pens are so forgiving which is why I love them. Just colour those in one by one, obviously I've sped this up but I mean it didn't actually take me that long in, in truth anyway. Just colouring each one in systematically, it doesn't matter which colour is which really. And then I think the last colour I add is blue. Yeah, there you go. Blue, just on those last two links. There we go. It's pretty much done. The only thing I've got left to do is these yellow balls. I'm not really quite sure what they're even supposed to be, but I think the idea is that the little one is sticking them to the parent's spikes. And then I just take my water pen. Again, I made a mistake there, but I just blotted it. And just go around the middle. You don't need to do an awful lot, and you end up with quite a nice 3D effect. There we go, just adding a little bit more in the bottom. So you can see we've got quite a nice texture on the belly. There you go, coloured. 
quite quickly. And there's the finished card. That's today's project.